Hi guys, it's Luis from the Bonafide store and I wanted to take a few moments of your time to introduce a new video series that I am going to do. Now, a few weeks ago, I put a poll on our story asking whether or not you would be interested in seeing some film photography in the shop. The response that I got was really awesome. It turns out a lot of people are interested in film photography and would like to see some stuff like that. So I thought it would be a great idea to do some videos where I'm introducing some film photography and showing you the process at the Bonafide store. To those of you guys who know me personally or maybe follow me on my personal Instagram might know that uh, photography is one of my hobbies. I find it relaxing, fun, interesting, and it's a really good creative outlet just to document you know, moments in time. If you haven't done it, like there's nothing better to me than a long walk with the camera and just kind of getting lost somewhere. I was thinking it would be really cool to take some of these cameras I've collected over the years or that I'm finding at thrift stores and use them with a roll of film, go into the shop, take some photos from the day, the moment that we open to the moment that we close or towards the end of the day and just share them with you. So refining that idea a little bit more, I kind of want to call this series cheap cameras at the Bonafide store. Now, to a lot of you guys who are into film photography, you'll know that it's an expensive hobby if you chase the rabbit of trying to get the best cameras and the rarest cameras, uh, it's just a mess. So in order to make this more fun, more spontaneous, and a little bit more creative, I'm going to set a couple conditions to myself. The first condition is that it's not going to be a tech review. So I'm going to show you the cameras, maybe talk a little bit about the history of the camera, show you the film that I'm using, and then I'm just going to shoot. So the second condition is that I will only be using cheap cameras, cameras that I own or cameras that I borrow. What that means is I will thrift store hunt for cameras and I will be spending much money on them. Or if I already have the cameras, for example, this is a Nikon F3. This is a little bit more expensive, more professional grade. I will use those cameras or I'll use friends cameras like this one. This is a Canon AE program. This belongs to my friend and he agreed to let me borrow it for these videos. That way this project is accessible. So if you see something that you like, you know, you know, how much to pay for it, where to get it. The third condition is that I will be showing you all the photographs that I take. Now, a standard roll of film has about 36 exposures, depending on how well you shoot and how much uh, film you um, don't, you waste in the beginning, you might get 36, you might get 38, or you might sometimes even get just like 20 or 27. So I will be showing you all the photos that I take throughout the day with that camera in the video, even the bad ones. And the last condition that we're gonna do is that the photographs are going to be bona fide store centric. So that means we're gonna be taking photos of inside, outside the shop, behind the scenes, haircuts, on the walks that we take to get coffee at the local coffee house, or maybe even go get lunch together with the barbers. They basically be revolving around the Bonafide store and Bonafide Pomade. So with that being said, I'm going to be filming my first video on this tomorrow. Now the process is gonna be a little bit crazy because it takes about 10 to 15 days to get the film back. So I'll be shooting the videos and then sending out the film to get developed. And you should see tomorrow's video about two weeks from now. So it's a long process, but it should be fun. I'm gonna, I think this is gonna be a fun project. I hope you guys tune in. And if you guys have any suggestions on what cameras to use, or if you guys have any questions on any of that stuff, of course, let me know. Now I know this has almost nothing to do with pomade, but that's okay because I think it'll be a lot of fun to see this kind of stuff. And we'll figure out how to tie in pomade somehow. You'll see. So tune in guys and I'll see you soon.